Welcome back to our channel. Today we dive into the enriching world of mindful eating. This intriguing practice is more than just a trend. It's a way to transform your relationship with food. So what exactly is mindful eating? It's an approach that involves being fully present and aware during your meals, savoring each bite, and acknowledging the nourishment food provides. It's about paying attention to the sensations of eating, from the textures and flavors to your body's hunger and fullness signals. The benefits? A more balanced, healthier relationship with food, improved digestion, and a heightened sense of satisfaction. By eating mindfully, you can break free from mindless munching and emotional eating. You can learn to appreciate food in a whole new light and in turn achieve a sense of balance and well-being. Mindful eating holds the power to revolutionize your health and well-being. Now, let's delve into a unique aspect of mindful eating, the five senses approach. Imagine each mealtime as a symphony, with each sense playing its part to create a harmonious eating experience. The five senses, sight, smell, taste, touch, and sound, are instrumental in enhancing our meals, transforming them from mere sustenance to a source of joy and mindfulness. Sight is our first interaction with food. The vibrant colors and presentation of a dish can spark anticipation, excitement, and curiosity. Meanwhile, smell works in tandem with sight, invoking memories and creating expectations. The aroma of a freshly baked loaf of bread or a simmering stew can stir up feelings of comfort and warmth. Taste, the star of the show, is often the most celebrated sense in the eating experience. It allows us to savor the complexity of flavors, the sweetness of fruits, the tanginess of a well-made vinaigrette, the bitterness of dark chocolate, the umami of mushrooms. Touch, though often overlooked, plays a vital role too. The texture of food, whether it's the crunch of a crisp apple or the smoothness of a creamy soup, contributes significantly to our enjoyment. And lastly, sound. The sizzle of a stir-fry, the crunch of a potato chip, even the silence that comes with savoring a delicious bite, these are all part of the eating symphony. But how can we truly engage these senses in mindful eating? It begins by slowing down, taking the time to appreciate each aspect of your meal, look at your food, taking in its colors and shapes, smell it, letting the aroma fill your senses, take a small bite and let the flavors explode on your tongue, feel the texture of the food as you chew, listen to the sounds your food makes as you eat. This isn't just about enjoying your food more, it's about creating a deeper connection with what you eat, understanding the journey your food has taken from the earth to your plate, and appreciating the nourishment it provides. Engaging your senses fully brings a new depth to your meals. So the next time you sit down to eat, remember to invite all your senses to the table. They'll make the meal a lot more enjoyable, and you'll find yourself more in tune with your body and your food. Awareness is key in mindful eating. Let's understand why. The art of mindful eating is deeply rooted in recognizing and understanding our hunger and fullness cues. These cues are the body's natural signals, guiding us when to eat and when to stop. By paying attention to these signals, we can make informed decisions about what and when to eat. Now, let's talk about the different types of hunger. There's physical hunger, the biological urge that tells you to replenish nutrients. This type of hunger comes on gradually and can be satisfied with any food. Then there's emotional hunger. This one is instant and very specific. It's driven by emotional needs and isn't satisfied with just any food. Emotional hunger doesn't come from the stomach, but from the mind. Understanding the difference between these two types of hunger is crucial. It helps us to respond appropriately, preventing overeating or weight gain. Awareness helps you tune into your body's needs, aiding mindful eating. Eating with intention is another vital aspect of mindful eating. It's about more than just filling our stomachs. It's about nourishing our bodies and our minds. When we approach our meals with intention, we align our eating with our health goals and values. We make conscious choices about what we eat, when we eat and how much we eat. We're not just mindlessly consuming calories, but purposefully fueling our bodies with the nutrients they need. But eating with intention also involves an element of gratitude. It's about appreciating the nourishment our food provides, acknowledging the effort that went into preparing it, and savoring every bite. It's about taking a moment to express thanks for the food on our plate and the nourishment it provides. This practice of gratitude can enhance our eating experience and cultivate a deeper connection with our food. With intention and gratitude, every meal becomes a celebration. 
Obstacles can challenge our mindful eating journey. Let's learn how to overcome them. In our fast-paced world, distractions are everywhere. From buzzing smartphones to blaring televisions, these interruptions can pull us away from our meals and disrupt our mindful eating practice. What's more, emotional triggers can also hinder our journey. Stress, sadness, or even boredom can lead us to seek solace in food, blurring the line between physical hunger and emotional hunger. But fear not, these hurdles are not insurmountable. With the right tools and strategies, we can stay present during our meals and truly savor every bite. One effective strategy is creating a distraction-free dining zone. This could mean turning off the television, putting away our smartphones, or simply choosing a quiet place to eat. By eliminating distractions, we can fully focus on our meals and engage all our senses in the eating experience. Another strategy is to identify our emotional triggers. If we notice we're reaching for a snack every time we're stressed or bored, we can pause and ask ourselves, am I really hungry or am I just trying to fill an emotional void? This simple act of self-inquiry can help us recognize and manage emotional eating. Moreover, we can practice mindfulness exercises to cultivate presence. One such exercise is the raisin meditation, where we take a raisin and spend a few minutes observing it, smelling it, tasting it, and savoring its texture and flavor. This exercise trains our minds to stay present and attentive during meals. Lastly, remember that patience is key. Overcoming obstacles doesn't happen overnight. It's a gradual process of self-discovery and growth. So if you stumble, be gentle with yourself. Acknowledge the setback, learn from it, and keep moving forward. Overcoming obstacles strengthens your mindful eating practice. By facing these challenges head on, we not only enhance our mindful eating skills, but also deepen our overall mindfulness practice. So let's embrace these obstacles, not as hindrances, but as opportunities for growth and transformation. Now let's discuss how to create a personalized mindful eating practice. First off, it's essential to understand that this practice is all about you and your relationship with food. It's not a one-size-fits-all solution. You need to create a practice that resonates with your lifestyle, your preferences, and your unique health goals. Start by setting realistic goals. Remember, mindful eating is not about perfection, but about making conscious decisions that align with your health and well-being. You might decide to eat more slowly, to savor your food, or to eat only when you're physically hungry. Next, think about how you can incorporate mindfulness into your daily eating habits. This could mean taking a moment to appreciate your food before you eat, noticing the colors, smells, and textures of your meal, or checking in with your hunger and fullness cues during and after each meal. A personalized mindful eating practice can seamlessly fit into your lifestyle. It's your journey and you have the power to shape it in a way that feels right for you. Mindful eating and balanced nutrition go hand in hand. They form a harmonious relationship that feeds not only our bodies but also our minds. Balanced nutrition is the cornerstone of a healthy lifestyle, providing the vital nutrients our bodies need to function optimally. When we pair this with the practice of mindful eating, we create a powerful tool for health and well-being. Mindful eating illuminates our relationship with food, encouraging us to savor each bite and truly appreciate the nourishment we receive. It helps us recognize when we're hungry and when we're satiated, preventing overeating and the health issues that can accompany it. Moreover, mindfulness brings attention to the quality of the food we consume. It steers us towards more nutritious choices, supporting a balanced diet. It's about taking a moment to consider what we're putting into our bodies and how it impacts our health. In this way, mindfulness and nutrition together promote a balanced lifestyle. Embrace this balance and you'll be well on your way to a healthier, more mindful existence. Mindful eating extends beyond meals. Let's see how. The principles of mindfulness can be woven into all aspects of our lives, including cooking and shopping. When we cook, we can engage our senses, appreciating the colors, textures, and aromas of the ingredients. We can savor the process, the transformation of raw materials into a nourishing meal. The same applies to grocery shopping. We can make choices that align with our health goals and values, opting for fresh whole foods that nourish our bodies and minds. Moreover, a commitment to mindful eating is a long-term investment in our well-being. It's not about quick fixes or temporary diets. It's about cultivating a healthy relationship with food that can sustain us for the rest of our lives. By staying present, we can savor each bite, each meal, each moment. Let's remember, 
Mindful eating is not just a practice, it's a lifestyle.